get it started. It's Sunday after church. I just got in and I thought it's been a while since I've done a video. So why don't we talk about my face today? I'm not going to do a how-to as I do. I'm going to do a how-to as I did. How's that sound? First, I do want to put on some more lipstick. This is one of our newest lipsticks that I'm trying to get you all to buy and help me sell the most because there's a contest going on. But this one is so nude looking that I put it on and you can't tell I put any on. Look. But guess what? Nude is the new look. So I'm kind of getting used to it. It was hard at first because you just used to having color on your lips, but there it is. This one is called Caramel Something. You have to ask me if you want to order it. I love it. It's our newest formula that helps condition your lips along as being lipstick. So here is, I'm going to make this quick so you can see my eyes, blah, 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 eyes. Okay. But the, what I want to talk about today is contouring. This is what they do in magazines to the to the models that you see in magazines or on the runways. Their face don't look like that when they ain't got no makeup on. No, they use colors. They use darks for shadowing and lights for highlighting. So let's see if we can quickly do this. Darks. I use a bronzer. Need to use one with as little orange as it as you can. Mine may be a little orange, but I gotta experiment and find just the right color for me. But here's what I do: I go all around my hairline, all the way around. If you've got a fat face, this is gonna make it narrow. I mean, look, I don't have cheekbones. Where did all this come from? It's color. Okay. Back to this. It goes all the way around my hairline. I come in to draw me a cheekbone right here. Then I come along here. Get Try to get rid of this jowl here. Did it work? It colors and darks and makes it shadow. Come up along this line here. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Go around your hairline. And again, draw in this little rounded part here. Okay. Then... I used my eyebrow pencil in the color blonde. Duh, it fits me perfect. So I use it and you draw outside your lip line, just along the outside edge. And that darkens, dark's gonna make things recede. But then you wanna smooth it out so you don't really see a line there. Add a little bit under here, and then you know, just again smooth out so you don't see. And there's, the, and then you don't come. I don't like my nose. Who does? So I come straight down my nose, go over that bump, try to go straight over the bump, straight down on each side. And then you want like mine. I want to make it a little shorter, so I come across here with the dark. Again, take brushes and try to just blend it in good, so that people don't look and see oh, she's got a line drawn down her nose. No, you can't tell that. And then I want to highlight the middle, so I use my, wait a minute, we're not on highlights yet. Okay, so we did dark, we did dark. Maybe we're ready for the highlights now. Okay, so I use my concealer for a highlight. And it's one that you roll it up and it's kind of like a crayon. And then I use my brush, my concealer brush. So here, let's show what we conceal. Uh... I like to go above my eyebrow here. I didn't do it today, so it's not going to show since I forgot that area. But just come around here with the highlighter. Come down the middle of your nose. Try to keep your line as straight as possible. Straight line down the middle of your nose. I like to do the mustache zone because you don't, don't want to look like you got a mustache. So I go across the top of her lip. And then you go outside that dark line. Outside the dark line. Just a little bit. Put a little bit of light right in here. Okay, then I come down, down this area here, under the eye, and this little area here you can see is lighter. And I just use the concealer with the concealer brush and just blend it out into it. Blend, 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 blend. Any place that I have deep wrinkles, 
I like to fill them with a the concealer, try to hide them babies, yeah. And then highlight under here to help. You can see a little bit of it there. And it just kind of helps to make it look like I have cheekbones. I don't. Every time I look at this picture of me, I'm like, who is that woman? That ain't me. But I can make it me. I can do like the models do. And you can too. I can do you a class on it. I can tell you what you need to buy from me and Avon. And just tell you all of what I did and show you how I did it. If you're interested, let me know. I am a National Avon Makeup Maven. And I love playing with makeup. I'm a... I've been an artist in my lifetime, and I've painted pictures, and so I started out doing this just like I would a picture. But then when I became a makeup maven and started watching ma makeup videos, I realized it's the same thing. You're pushing in with the dark, pulling out with the highlights, and shaping and making things appear as they're not. And so it's like I walk around looking like I've got lights shadowing my face everywhere I go. Whether there's lights there or not, hello, I love it. I can't wait for the new Makeup Maven year. I've got a special young lady. Her name's Tiffany. I hope she watches this because I hope to have a date with her on May 12th to sign her up to be on my team as an Avon rep because she is amazing at makeup and I hope that'll be in time to get her in the contest to win Makeup Maven for 2014. That would be so cool. Guess what? She's my cousin. Tiffany, are you listening? Trina, can we make this happen? Andy, talk to your daughter. I love you all. I thank you. I hope you went to church today. I had such a blessing. God is so good. Oh, he's so good. If you have any questions about God, ask me too, because that's my favorite subject. God and everyone. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. Have a blessed day.